Hello, everyone. Welcome to Morning Coffee. Welcome to your weekend edition of Morning Coffee. Thank you so much for tuning in. So this is going to be a general energy reading for your weekend of April 17th through the 19th. Please keep in mind, however, that time is an illusion and energies are fluid. So just because this is a reading that's dated for the weekend of the 17th through the 19th of April, this does not mean it absolutely has to resonate for you at that time. Whenever you are guided to watch this reading and it resonates for you then that is the message for you in that moment also keep in mind that this is a general reading so please take what resonates and leave what doesn't okay well yet another week in lockdown new york's lockdown has been extended to the 15th of may awesome um but yeah i mean this is the this is unprecedented. I mean, this is not like anything that we've experienced in our time, in our lives before, unless you are someone like that's survived some, some major, major turning points in our human history in the fairly recent past. But for the majority of us, we've never experienced anything like this before. So this is interesting to say the least. <laughs> Anyway, I hope you guys are doing well. Um, yeah, I just heard this shit gets old really easily. Yeah, you're right, it does. <laughs> but whatever, we're going to get through this together, yeah? All right, so let's just, let's just get into it. Let's see what we've got for the weekend. Hi, spirit. Please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for our weekend of April, Friday, April 17th through Sunday, April 19th, 2020. Thank you so much, Spirit. Woo, five shuffles. Okay, five shuffles. Here we go, guys. One. Two. Three. For our weekend edition. April 17th through the 19th of 2020. Four. Last shuffle. Here we have five skis. <laughs> All right, kids. Let's see what we've got. Okay. What's on the Jennifer, the agenda for the collective today? Renewal. Okay. Uh, so this is Judgment. Page of Swords. Okay. So we have Renewal, which in traditional tarot is Judgment. This says review the past and the present so you can plan a bright new future. Understanding your life purpose. Releasing judgments of yourself and of others. Um, for sure. Definitely, you know, releasing the past, um, understanding your life purpose is standing out the most. Um, it seems, and, and then with this page of swords here, there's a very, str there's a strong intuitive nature, uh, in, not intuitive, I'm sorry, inquisitive nature, information that can help you, but which may also be difficult to hear. Speaking the truth with kindness, an indigo child or adult. That's cute. Um, however, on a collective scale, um, I, uh, for the message here is I feel like there is some sort of, maybe some sort of research that you're doing, or maybe a new understanding for lack of a, a better term or more specific term, um, that that's leading you or that's, that's continuing down your path. It's like, you're walking down your path. You're moving forward. You've recently gone through a lot of awakening, a lot of change. <laughs> I heard a lot of drama. Yeah. Okay. Um, but 
somehow, some way, it has all, it has all gotten you on your path. It has all gotten you obviously to where you need to be and it just feels like right now you are in a space where you're trying to get a deeper understanding of exactly what it is you're doing or exactly where it is you're going or at least some semblance of that so that you can continue moving forward okay you have the star here yep with the okay awesome you have the star with the three of cups okay this could involve um this could there, there could be some sort of group endeavor that you're looking to that you're dreaming of basically is what i'm getting here with the star you are moving forward with faith um you're grounded is what i'm hearing um there's a very communal energy surrounding you uh i do feel like there's something there could be some sort of group task group situation um that you're looking to embark on i am feeling some a strong group project uh or just like-minded individuals maybe it is you're looking for like-minded individuals um this could the three of cups i'm getting this all from the three of summer or the three of cups and this is uh uh uh, uh soul family it's, and if it's not if you're not looking to connect with soul family or work with soul family you're looking to work with like-minded individuals this could very well be some sort of humanitarian idea or vision you have the, oof now you have the knight of swords wow okay with the queen of pentacles absolutely and the tower yes all right overall energy is the knight of cups okay so it looks like the the whatever this is that you're embarking on absolutely is the product or the result of a tower moment with the queen of pentacles energy i'm feeling i definitely feel some sort of humanitarianism or wanting to give back wanting to help wanting to provide recognizing that people are suffering or rep recognizing that um negative situations are happening and the nurturing grounding um uh, motherly type energy of the queen of pentacles is very much coming forward saying i want to help we've got to do something This tower moment or your life experience has helped to shape your mind in a way where you can now perceive of the plights of other people. It's because of your life experience that you've that you've gone through that is allowing you to see to basically to see that in other people, whereas in the past you were completely blinded to it because you weren't you weren't awakened, you weren't aware. Okay, for some of you, you have gone through a recent tower moment or a recent real big shakeup in your life that has pushed you into this Queen of Pentacles energy, which is an energy of knowing your worth, um, it's being authentic. I'm hearing speaking your truth. Um, this tower moment, this big upheaval, this major life change or this major life event that kind of shook you awake, basically, is what I'm feeling here, um, has opened your eyes in ways that you never thought you would you would never even think of seeing it. you never would have even thought you would have seen things this way it wasn't even like a it wasn't even a thought in your mind <clears throat> okay i feel like this is like a complete 180 in your in your perspective and it doesn't okay so some of you do want to help there are some there's some energy here of wanting to get in and i'm seeing things like wanting to be involved in soup kitchens or food banks um especially now at this time when you know so many people are out of work and can't afford food wanting to help at the food banks that that are popping up here and there wanting to provide some sort of humanitarian support um, i'm hearing relief for people but for others of you, it doesn't necessarily have to be that way. It's like you and, and, and this page of swords energy here, this inquisitive nature um, is, is you trying to understand, okay, well, I have this new point of view. Where do I fit in all of this? Where do I fit in all of this? How can I help? How can I make a difference? How can I make a change? Um, this does feel like a new, a brand new activation into the realm of spirituality or the, the realm of higher or greater understanding the realm of conscious awareness towards the plight of other people the plight of the planet blah 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 all that good stuff okay 
beautiful 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 this is this is a good energy um there's been a lot of bittersweet energy <laughs> within the collective right now it definitely does feel like it's like why did i have to be awakened to this on one side of the coin but on the other side of the coin you're like oh i'm so glad that i am because now i can do something to help there's a realization here that yeah it may suck to be able to see things this way because you can't go back, you can't turn it off, you can't unsee it, you can't go back to sleep, right? But at the same time, it's like, well, thank God I'm here because now I can help. Now there's something that can be done. And there's also a realization that, and an understanding which is helping you settle into this, which is helping you accept this a little bit more. But there's an understanding that the more people that are awakened to this, the more hands that there are available to provide some sort of support, some sort of relief. So yeah, that's bittersweet. It's a double-edged sword. And yet you, especially in this Queen of Pentacles energy, it just feels like you are definitely aware of the fact that you are strong enough to withstand that double-edged sword. Whereas others around you may not be able to withstand the cut from one edge. You're like, no, actually, I'm ready for this. I'm prepared. I'm fortified. I can help. That's beautiful. The first, so, 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 okay. So we're going to get, we're going to get into clarification now. The first thing I want to talk about is this awakening, renewal, which is the same thing in, in traditional tarot. This is judgment. And this is the, this is the wake up call. Okay. This is the awakening. And this is the moment where you snapped out of it, right? you woke up to the plight of others, the plight of the earth, the plight of the world. Excellent. Welcome. <laughs> um, but this feels like it was a past energy. Uh, I mean, it's just, it's just as much of a past energy as this life experience or this tower moment. But it, it's what I'm, what I mean by this really is that you, it feels like you've been in this energy for a while. You've just been kind of like swimming in the soup. Um, and now you're starting to be able to be conscious. You're starting to get your bearings. You're starting. It's like it's like um, a newborn, right? When they're they're there when they emerge into the world, you know, they can't really see too well. They're not mobile. Um, they 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 are heavily heavily reliant on the help of you know the doctors and the nurses or the midwives and the parents up until a certain point where they can start to lift their own head eventually, or at least they open their eyes for the first time, they can start to perceive of what's around them. I feel like you're in this moment now where you're kind of like coming out of the fog of, you know, the birthing process, we'll say, or at least the awakening process. So you've woken up and you know, like when you wake up, here's another analogy, You wake when you wake up, you know, the first, I don't know, 20 minutes to 20 to 40 minutes, you're kind of like groggy. Um, and you know, you're just kind of like walking around like a zombie going through the paces and then slowly but surely you're, you start to wake up, right? And then, and then you have your cup of coffee and then, you know, the wake up process accelerates. That's, that's, I, I feel like you're there right now. So you're in this space where you're starting to get your bearings. You're starting to see clearly of what's actually around you given this awakening, right? So now let's look at this. What does, what does, let's look a little deeper into this awakening, this renewal here. What can you tell us about this spirit for us? The world. Yeah, the chariot with the three of wands. There you go. Yeah, so for sure, you're ready to start moving forward on your path now. The three of wands, as for me as a reader, the three of wands is a representation of you being on your path. Traditionally, this does mean uh, waiting for a return on an investment, waiting for your ships to come in um, ha after having made a choice. Often at, at times I can see you this or this being an energy of continuing the momentum of a choice that was made in the previous step, which would be the two of wands in order to see it through. This is like, okay, you've made your choice. Okay. Now let's start doing the work. Let's start, let's start laying the tracks. Let's start preparing the port so that our ships can come in. Let's, let's get that, that, that little boat ready so that when the ship comes in, we can swim out to the boat and start doing, get it, start working. We don't have to wait for the boat to dock. You know, it's, it's that kind of energy, right? But this also, for me, 
can symbolize you absolutely being on the right path. I'm hearing at the right time, in the right timing, doing exactly what it is that you need to be doing. So if there is any sort of fear that maybe you're not on the right path, maybe you're not taking, you're taking too much time, no, 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 no. Everything is exactly as it's meant to be. Okay, this definitely could be, okay, there's another definition. Um, this definitely, the three of wands can absolutely represent, oh, no, 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 no. Everything is exactly as it's meant to be, okay? And that's what I'm feeling in this case. That is coupled or, or confirmed by the world and the chariot, okay? So a major life cycle, a major life lesson has completed. Um, you're ready. Oh, the, the, the world is representing the green light here. It's saying everything is complete. You are whole, at least whole enough to start moving on your journey. Even if you don't necessarily feel that way, the higher perspective is, the higher wisdom is, oh no, honey, you're ready. All right. At the bottom of the deck, yes, is the fool. 555 five, five on the counter. Okay. There's the fool right there. This is beautiful. You are absolutely ready and set to go. And coupled with this three of summer, this three of cups energy here, I feel like sp this is also... The, uh, the, the Three of Cups is definitely a sense of wanting to um, connect with like-minded individuals, soul family, and all that good stuff. But also the Three of Cups is a celebration. And the Three of Cups has been coming out a lot lately. And it's been representing um, the universe congratulating you, your soul family congratulating you, your, your spirit team congratulating you. You've made it. This is excellent. This is excellent. Let's look at that, actually. In terms of the Three of Cups or the Three of Summer, what is what can you tell us about this, please, Spirit? I definitely feel like there is a level of not quite sure you're ready for this, but the Three of Cups can also be seen as encouragement to continue on. In some cases, it, it is a little bit of a checkpoint for you, saying, you know, but this is this is more of a checkpoint in terms of you know, you know, making sure that you're okay, making sure that you're stable or understanding or grounded, um, trying to give you some extra support, moral support, saying you can do this, we're at your side, we've got you, we're gonna help you, you you're meant to be here, you're meant to be doing this. Two of Swords in reverse, Seven of Wands in reverse, Six of Wands in reverse, Three of Cups in reverse. <laughs> with the nine of cups look the nine of cups at the bottom of the deck in terms of this three of cups energy spirit is saying this is going to get you this is going to move you in a place that you desire to be in um the nine of cups is giving me very much a, a similar energy of the nine of pentacles in that rewards are coming in uh, what, and i think what this is saying what this feels like here is with the nine of cups you don't realize just how well this has set you up to find emotional fulfillment. You just don't see it yet, okay? But Spirit also wants you to congratulate yourself. Spirit also wants you to allow yourself to enjoy some of the emotionally fulfilling will windfall type energy, <laughs> if that makes sense, that's coming for you. That's on the horizon here, all right? Two of swords in reverse, seven of swords, I'm sorry, seven of wands in reverse. There's definitely an, uh, okay, two of wands in reverse, seven, two of wands, seven of swords, six of wands, three of cups, all in reverse. There is an energy of denial, of not recognizing the victory here with the six of wands in reverse, not recognizing how far you've come. There's also an energy of being a little too guarded, a little too blocked off. Spirit is asking you to let down your guard here because this is in fact a victory and you just don't see it yet. Um, some of you are dealing with some sort of sorrow and I guess it's because of leaving the past behind. It's definitely the, this could very well be the, the realization that it's like, oh no, I can never go back to sleep. I can never unsee what I've seen. I can never ungo through what I've been through. Yeah, I understand. Um, it's definitely a shock to the system. But again, what Spirit is saying is you don't recognize, you don't see the victory that's ahead of you just yet. Okay. Okay. Let's move forward here. And actually, I want to move to a new deck. 
I want to get out the Golden Universal Tarot because I want to talk about the star. I want to talk about where you're going, where this vision is leading you, where faith is leading you, where this where this path is leading you. And it's and and some of you may be in this energy of tr trying to understand exactly how you came here, how you got here. Some of you are trying to understand how all of this adds up. Where is this even leading us? How is this supposed to lead us to where we're exactly where we're supposed to go? Um, some of this actually could very well be an energy of a little bit of impetulance um, when it comes to this, when it comes to spirit. And it's really just because that's your ego mind flaring up and stepping in and trying to control things, trying to keep as much control as they can. Uh, of the situation because with the star energy here you don't exactly know where it is you're going or maybe even fully why you're doing or being guided or feeling called to do the things that you're doing it's very much an energy of well i under i hear that you're calling me this way but i'm going to need you to give me more information before i really set in settle into doing it before i can really allow myself to to settle into this and spirit is asking is just saying look just have faith this is exactly where you're supposed to be and where we're leading you where we're guiding you with the star energy is is taking you where you want to go but you have to trust us and then the page of swords is like mm, i'm not sure i can trust you <laughs> and spirit just kind of like rolls his eyes like okay well let's keep walking and you're like well fine but i'll do that for now but don't expect me to really be on full, fully on board with this and spirit's just like okay <laughs> But they're also kind of chuckling because they understand, you know, it's not out of their scope of vision to understand why someone would be reacting this way, especially if this is all so new to you, right? One last shuffle, and then we're going to talk about the star. The star. What is the star here, spirit? Spirit just said faith. That's what the star is, faith. I mean, you've gotten this far, haven't you? You've seen a lot of things. You've seen a lot of things change. You've made a lot of changes in your life. And look at where it's lead you, led you. Um, for some of you, spirit, spirit is saying specifically, look at all of the things that you experienced in your life that we, or that you were able to overcome. I was going to say that we helped guide you through. It's really not even, it's really not even about that for spirit. It's like, we're not, we don't need the validation. We know, we see this from a higher perspective. You're the one that's down there in the 3D perspective in the physical world, you know, tumbling around with all this stuff. So we understand why you can't, why you can't see all of what's really going on here. Okay. But they are wanting you to look back on the experiences that you had for some of you, because some of this life experience here has been really tough. And it's like you, in that moment, you had no idea how you were ever going to see the light of day, how you were ever going to make it out of there. And yet here you stand in this renewal, in this awakened point of view, ready to take on the next adventure. So some of this page of swords energy needs to like chill a little bit, you know? But again, this is not like a reprimand. This is not spirit saying, coming down on you saying, all right, enough is enough. It's like, no, no, it's not even close to that. Spirit is saying, we understand exactly why you would be hesitant, um, inquisitive, speculative. We get it. Okay. Um, and spirit just said, we are trying to shower you with unconditional love. All right. Some of you are blocking this a little bit. With this page of swords energy, you're like, I, I don't, what is that? I don't know what that is. Keep that far away from me. And it's spirits just like, it's just love, honey. <laughs> okay, let's talk about the star here. What can you tell us about the star, please, spirit? Some of you are definitely dealing with a little bit of shock. Uh-huh, uh-huh, there it is. There's the moon with none other, with the four of wands. Yep. The moon with the four of wands. What you do not see right now, what you're trying to get a grasp a grasp on, I should I guess I could say, what you don't really see right now is how strong, how solid your spiritual, creative, internal foundation is. And this feels very strongly of you finding a very solid foundation within yourself. Like there has been so much inner work done here that you don't really recognize how far you've come. 
which kind of, I guess, kind of sounds like an oxymoron. If there's been so much good work that's done, if there's such a solid foundation, why can't I necessarily feel it, see it, or, 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 or you know what I mean? Why can't I, why can't I, why, 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 do, why do I not notice it? Because it's very subtle. Because it's very subtle. It's one of those things, and it's one of those things where you kind of have to play around with it to really understand, to really feel what's happening. Um, you have to get your senses used to this new level, to this ex new experience, to th this new expanded point of view. At the bottom of the deck, you have temperance. You have temperance, guys. This is a new level of alchemy. Yeah, you really come to a new, we'll call it a new alchemical phase. And you have to, it's like you have to get your sea legs. Okay, let's get a little bit more on this. What else can you tell us about the star, please, spirit? The tower. Whoa. With this, oh my goodness. Okay. Some of you are not feeling worthy. Oh, damn. Look, some of you are not feeling worthy of this. It's because you're still working through old programming. You have the tower. with, And that came out with the king of pentacles, actually, at first. Um, and so what I'm, what I'm picking up on here is the tower moment that you experienced, that awakening, that big life experience that you ex went through really helped to ground you really helped you to get way more solid way more secure and firm in your life just because it's the king of pentacles it does not mean that you are rolling in the dough there could be a good level of financial stability surrounding you if that is what your situation calls for you could have come into a financial windfall um I, however i feel like the windfall that really happened here is energetic in nature and you have a deeper sense of grounding okay wow 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 yes okay look so at the bottom of the deck with that was the queen of pentacles right so the queen of pentacles is here again okay so what this is saying to me is you are solid and stable and grounded enough in yourself to be able to take action towards the in, in terms of whatever this nurturing feminine to the masculine side of you is is resonating with is 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 calling you towards is leading leading you towards okay there was an awakening here here's judgment renewal judgment and underneath judgment was the six of swords or is the six of swords you are definitely moving on from rough waters to calmer waters even though that doesn't on the surface that doesn't compute because it's like well actually no i'm 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 diving into the trenches right now in a matter of speaking, yes. However, you've gone through an energetic upgrade. So yes, while to the naked eye or to from someone that's on the outside looking in or to someone that hasn't really gone through an awakening like this, it could seem like you're diving headfirst into battle only to have yourself ra wrecked and ravaged. But that's not the case. Again, you've gone through an energetic upgrade. You are way more stable, grounded, and secure than you have ever been in your life, which allows you to be able to take on this, basically, this new mission. Now, you do have the Seven of Cups here with the Five of Pentacles, all right? So there's the confusion. There's the lack of belief. There's like, I don't know. I don't think I can handle this. It's an energy where... Um, you're standing in this new energetic space and could be seeing all, every, all of the new that's swirling around you and part of you is slipping back into that old egoic point of view of, I don't think I can handle this. I'm not cut out for this. I'm not good enough for this. Blah, 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 whatnot, whatever. But here's the sun saying, um, yes, you are. Yes, you are. <laughs> out of the darkness and into the light. Look, you have the sun and the moon here, okay? Out of the darkness and into the light. And what Spirit said, as soon as I picked up the sun, Spirit gave me the image of the sun coming out after a storm and or and allowing, and, and, and the heat of the sun burning away all the mist, all the fog, all the confusion, and, and all the fear. All the stuff that kind of clouds your vision that keeps you from being able to see clear, clearly or clearer. And what Spirit's kind of giving me is saying, just allow this to happen. Just allow yourself to settle in. Have faith. Go ahead and keep that inquisitive nature with the Page of Swords here. Um, 
you know, keep your wits about you. No one is asking you to go on blind faith, okay? You have your vision for a reason. But at the same time, there is a level of faith that needs to, that needs to be held on to, okay? Because ultimately, everything is working out exactly as it's meant to. You have the Queen of Cups here that's at the, yeah. You have the Queen of Cups at the bottom of the deck. So you could be a little overly emotional, especially with the devil that's right underneath that. Um, you know, there could be a lot of fears and anxiety that's coming up. There could be a level of not necessarily feeling like you are cut out for this with this Queen of Cups energy, but you are. Don't worry. You are. Um, interestingly enough, what I want to talk about next, um, I think this might be the last one last clarifier before I go into our Oracle guidance, but I want to talk about the chariot here. We're going to use the last tarot deck that I have accessible right here, but let's talk about the chariot. Um, what does spirit want you to know about the chariot? One last shuffle. What does spirit want you to know about the chariot? <laughs> it's the sun again. Good lordy with the hermit. Okay, look, you are in fact ready for this. You have done the internal work. I feel like for some of you, for um, let me say it this way instead, for most, if not all of you, you actually know exactly what it is you need to do next. And part of the fear or apprehension that you might be feeling is the fact that this might actually be somewhat of a solo journey. I mean, yes, there is an element of bringing in soul family um and, and and all that with the three of cups energy and and you know connecting with like-minded individuals but that doesn't mean that those like-minded individuals or that soul family is going to be in your immediate vicinity these could be people that are scattered all over the country all over the state all over the world and yet you're still able to connect with each other because in reality there is there really is no such thing as time or space that's an illusion just like the illusion that we're that we're a separate no actually we're all one we're all connected okay let's get a little bit more eight of wands yeah four of cups okay all right <laughs> You're, wow, you guys, look, you're ready. You are so ready. Look, the chariot has come out again, okay? And we're clarifying the chariot, all right? Um, overall, yeah, look, no, you really are ready for this because here's temperance again. It, alchemical muta uh, uh, transmutation. I mean, like, you've done, you, you don't realize, you really don't realize how ready you are for this, how balanced you are. You are in a brand new alchemical state. I, I'll go so far as to say that some of you, maybe the whole lot of you, I don't know, but some of you, um, how, you're like a brand new person, a brand new person, and never really thought you'd be able to see things the way you're seeing them right now. Like, it's almost like, am I dreaming? There's no possible way that, that I could be seeing it this way or understanding it this way. But you're ready. Look, you have the Eight of Wands, okay? And with that came the Four of Cups. And so it, it really is an energy of you guys are, some of you are not, are really not allowing yourself to take this opportunity. There is a, there, there are some slight feelings of unworthiness. It's like, there's, there's no possible way I could be ready for this. There's no possible way this is, this was meant for me. And Spirit just keeps sitting there saying, yeah, honey, look, this is you. Three of Cups, again, celebration. This is you. You're ready for this. Let's get moving, okay? You have the opportunity 
to really go for your dreams right now. The Page of Cups with the Ace of Pentacles and the Chariot, coupled with the Eight of Wands here. I mean, there is the, the, the air. The air is clear. There are no obstacles in your way. The only obstacle that you find in your way right now is your own mind, your own ego. You have the opportunity to create something brand new here, Ace of Pentacles, but it's going to take physical action to create it. I mean, this is a pentacle. This is the physical realm. This is about taking action. This is about building. This is about doing. Again, we're not trying to get you too much in that doing energy. You know, you have to, you still have to find that alignment with it and you still have to allow things to flow. Okay. And that's what this queen of pentacles energy is talking about here. All right. You got, you still got to get into the flow, but with the king of pentacles here, coupling that mar mar marrying those two together, right? between the king and the queen of pentacles. The queen is the alignment, the king is the action in terms of that alignment. But in order to really be there, in order to be allow yourself to be in that alignment, you have to start believing in the fact that where you find yourself right now is exactly where you are meant to be. I'm hearing it doesn't get any better than that. It doesn't get any better than this. In terms of being in the opportunity or in, in an ideal place to find that alignment for yourself so so what the star and the page of swords can also represent here for some of you is this inquisitive nature in the page of swords is you working on getting in alignment with what spirit your higher self is guiding you towards with this star energy okay beautiful we're going to close out the reading for our weekend today and we're going to do that with the gaia oracle oops let's try that again one more shuffle okay closing message for our weekend please spirit what do you got for us there it is right there so we have card number 32 which boils down to a five purification water emotional cleansing rejuvenation beautiful Okay, this card signifies healing and rejuvenation, which has come of a, as a result of emotional cleansing. In the coming days, you may experience some emotional turmoil, deep feelings that you thought you had already dealt with or previously resolved resurfacing seemingly out of nowhere. Do not be concerned. For a profound healing is taking place and at the end of this proceeds uh i don't think that's correct grammar but at the end of this you will feel all the better for it the later <laughs> the lady featured on this card emerges from the deep waters of her emotions into the light of a new day emotionally cleansed and rejuvenated she now is ready to move fully into her power, free of the emotional baggage she has previously carried. There is an affirmation here, and you can say it with me if you like. It says, I allow all unresolved feelings to surface. I give thanks for the healing that is taking place. I am emotionally cleansed. I am free of emotional baggage. I release all that no longer serves me. And say it one more time. I allow all unresolved feelings to surface. I give thanks for the healing that is taking place. I am emotionally cleansed. I am free of emotional baggage. I release all that no longer serves me. All right, guys. So there you have it. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. Um, I hope you guys have a absolutely fantastic weekend. And I look forward to connecting with you again for our next cup, cup, cup of coffee. Monday morning. Yeah? Take care. Mwah! Bye.